Hi, in this video we will be showing you how to add Instagrations carousel widget to your Shopify store. The first step is to create a campaign if you don't already have one. To create a campaign, we'll go up to the drop down menu titled Campaigns in the top right and then go to Add New Campaign. We'll need to give our campaign a name. In this case, we will call it Watches. The hashtag that we would like to track on Instagram, which will also be Watches. And our campaign's link, which will be where the user will go when they click on the image. In this case, we will just use an example site like Watches.com. We'll save our campaign. And then we'll be shown images that match the hashtag we picked, which was watches. So we will approve some images for our campaign. There we go. And if we go to approved images, we'll see all of the images we selected. So we approved eight images for our campaign. To add the carousel widget to our store, we will go to Add to Store. From here, if we click Preview, we'll be shown a little preview of what the widget will look like once it's on our store with the images we selected. So next, we'll click Install. And then a window will pop up telling us we had a successful installation. So we're going to want to copy this snippet of liquid code and then go to our Shopify store. Once you're logged into your Shopify store's admin site, you're going to want to go to your themes on the left hand side here. And from here, you'll want to go to template editor. This will show you all of the files that make up the theme you're currently using on your store. So I've selected the index.liquid file as this file represents your store's home page. Often a good place to put your carousel widget is at the bottom of your store's home page. So in my index.liquid file I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to paste in that snippet that I got from Instagration after installing the widget. So the next step is to save the file and you'll see assets saved successfully and then we're going to have a look at our store. So we will refresh the page and then once the page has loaded we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll see that our carousel widget has shown up with all of the images we approved. So as we click the arrow, we can scroll through the images, which works the other way as well.